Hey everyone, it's Lance from Christianity Minute. Welcome to the daily devotional series. I love spending time every episode studying the Word of God with you. I've got my Bible right here, and I'll be putting scripture on the screen from the English Standard Version. Now, before we get started, remember, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing to my channel. You could also help produce these videos by donating at patreon.com slash Christianity Minute. Now, let's go. Last Thursday, John described how Jesus would be polarizing and demanding of his people to follow him, or they would be burned like chaff that has been separated from the wheat. Today, we see the results of John's preaching starting in Luke chapter 3 and verse 18. It reads, So with many other exhortations, he preached good news to the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, who had been reproved by him for Herodias, his brother's wife, and for all the evil things that Herod had done, added this to them all, that he locked up John in prison. Now, John, as I said in a previous video, he had pull punches. He really lets you know what he thought on a topic, and commanded all to repent and be baptized for that repentance. While he preached good news to folks that the Savior was about to appear, he wasn't afraid to tell people the truth of their own standing with God and his law. Uh, around here they say he'd tell you how the cow ate the cabbage. We read last Thursday about that, but Herod had received the same sharp edge of John's words as the priests and the lawyers. You see, Herod had married Herodias, who just so happened to be his brother's wife as well. This was unlawful, most obviously because of the 7th and 10th commandments. John told him publicly that this was unlawful, which, well, Herod didn't like that very much. Neither did Herodias. This would eventually lead to the end of John, as Herodias' daughter seduces Herod, and he says he'll give her anything she wants. We'll revisit that later on in the story, when John is actually killed. John, though, was not afraid of the man who would eventually have his head lopped off. He knew that Herod was evil and selfish and could easily have him killed. But he spoke the truth anyway. You know, I've had some pushback on this channel on some topics. It really makes me a little anxious to see a video that has no views or the comments are really negative. It really makes me worry that this endeavor is futile. Despite it all, though, I keep making these videos with a focus not on what any human being may say, but studying to understand what the actual Word of God says without outside manipulation. I put the verses on the screen for you to see them, to see what I'm talking about, and to be able to form a conclusion as well. We all have the goal of, of getting to heaven. Jesus tells us that the way is narrow and very few find it. Let's each help each other. If your view differs from mine, please let me know. Don't put something ugly down that's closed off and never come back when I try to engage you in discussion. But let's open a dialogue. Don't be a coward when it comes to your eternal soul. Be like John. Don't be afraid to stand up for the Word of God. That's been your Christianity Minute Daily Devotional for the day. I work hard to make sure that all things said are scripturally accurate and offer an exegesis. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from you. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. If you would like to assist my efforts to bring you these videos, feel free to support me at Patreon. I post a new video every Sunday and a devotional video every Tuesday and Thursday. And you can check out some of my other videos on the left. Now go out, stay positive, keep Christ in mind, and I'll see you next time right here on Christianity Minute Daily Devotional.